Hey guys, uh, sorry, no full video this week because I've gotten a little bit distracted uh, playing with this new setup. So I just want to give you a quick teaser um, of what's going to be coming in the next few weeks here. We've been talking about using the Behringer Wing with the Mac Mini M4. Uh, so this is my latest iteration of that. So we've got the Behringer Wing. In the back is the uh, Waves internal sound card, which is plugged into our Mac Mini M4 here. Uh, and it's just in a cool little case that allows it to stand uh, vertically next to my mixer, which is awesome. Um, but really excited about this. I found this really affordable touchscreen on Amazon. Um, and uh, just to kind of give you an idea of how powerful this computer is. Currently what's happening is I have 64 channels of audio going from the wing into um, uh, waves and then back out again. Um, I'm running about 50 plugins right now, which includes a handful of auto-tune, handful of um, drum replacement plugins, just to try and see what I can do. On top of that, check this out. I'm running Studio One in the background, and I'm currently recording all 64 of those channels into that raw. Um, and so I can also create a virtual sound check from here with a little bit of trickery um, for working with this stuff later on. But with all that going on, including the 64 channels of audio that are recording, look at this, not even about just over a quarter of the CPU usage on this computer. And like I said, that's including um, drum replacement and pitch correction and a little mastering setup for what would be a live stream mix. So super excited about the possibilities of what this little computer can do. Uh, so we'll be doing more videos on that soon. If you have any questions that you'd like me to focus on when I do that video, please feel free to leave those in the comments for this one. And uh, I hopefully we'll have some new stuff out for you soon. All right, have a great week.